Listen to this list. A hiking trail named after Michelle Obama, a hip hop museum in the Bronx, the COVID-19 American History Project, and border security in the Middle East. Those are just some of the initiatives inside the $1.7 trillion spending bill, which the Senate just passed with help from a few Republicans. It heads to the House this morning. Right. Uh, Senator Marsha Blackburn was not one of them, and she's up early to tell us why. Senator, you did not sign off on this. Why did you not get on the omnibus bus? <laughs> Brian, this is too much spending for me. Look at how much they've already spent. When you look at CARES, when you look at the Inflation Reduction Act, the infrastructure bill that wasn't about infrastructure, and now they want to do this with another $1.7 trillion, the American people deserve better than this. And you mentioned the money that was going to four countries in the Middle East to secure their border, but then the language in this bill disallows our border patrol to use their funding to secure the border. They can use it to mitigate right. some of the issues, but not to build the wall, not to secure the border. Well, Senator, we understand why you voted against it. Why did 18 of your colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle vote for this bill? That is a good question to ask them. But I know Tennesseans expect me to go to D.C. and do my best to reduce what the federal government is spending. This bill, and think about it like this, this is what Washington, D.C. sees as a gift for the American people, driving up inflation, doing nothing to address illegal immigration, doing nothing to address the drug crisis or crime in the streets. Right. But when it comes to special interest and pet projects, they've got plenty of money. Yeah, this a process, though, of waiting until the 11th hour to pass a massive bill that nobody has time to read is not good. But it also seems like there's really no motivation to change that on either side of the aisle. And is that because it does benefit the party in power? So there is a time when this benefits Republicans and it's a time when there, there's a time when it benefits Democrats as well. But there are some of us, and we need more conservatives up there, who say let's freeze federal spending, hiring, and salaries, and begin to get this under control. Let's focus on the things the American people are focused on, like illegal immigration and what we have happening in Tennessee, uh, what we see happening with crime, what we see happening with inflation, the price of groceries, the price at the pump. Right. Those are the issues that people people want to see addressed. And as I was flying home last night, talking to people, they were going, why, why are we doing this? Inflation is killing us and it is affecting families' budgets. And all of this government spending is happening right here, right at Christmas. It shows you what Washington, D.C. thinks of the American people. Right, uh, Senator. Real quick, uh, this uh, this year coming up with with the budget is now not going to be addressed once this passes the House until September of this year. So, what could you do in now in the minority, a clear minority in the Senate? How do you plan on approaching it? Yes, Brian, one of the things that we will do is we do the authorization hearings, the budget hearings, for the various departments that are coming before us with our committees like Department of Justice, uh, Commerce, those different departments. What we will do is begin to review how they are spending their funds. Many things we disagree with. You can look at Homeland Security. Tennesseans have a big disagreement with them right now. But also, what we are going to have to do is a better job of driving our message that we have to change the way we do right. budgeting. And we have to make certain that we freeze federal spending and begin to work this back down. And right. I'm going to renew my efforts for a balanced right. budget amendment. Right. Senator's going to be tough, though, with 5149. But thanks yes, so much. It is. All right. Have a great New it. Year's. Thank and have you. Great Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.